on a Tuesday night. Also uh, contributing some points here for the uh, Redmen, uh, Griffin Kugler, the sophomore. He's averaging 5.6 points a game, 3.3 points a game for East Buckmaster, 7.4 points a game for Austin Hobelman, three a game for Maxwell, Heston Maxwell, and two a game for Joel Montgomery. Those are uh, some of the players uh, contributing some points here for the Redmen here early in the season. The winner of this game will take on uh, the number two seed, the Ellis Railroaders in Ellis on Tuesday night, or on Monday night, I should say. The other game going on here in Stockton is Norton taking on Stockton over in the grade school gym. If you're just joining us, our first feature matchup of the evening featured the Phillips Circle Lady Panthers taking on the Hill City Lady Ringnecks, and the Lady Panthers winning that game 51-18. to So the Lady Panthers move on. They now have a rematch with the Norton Lady Jays. Lady Panthers lost that game last night 50-45. to uh, they get a, another shot at the Lady Jays here in just a couple days as they'll be on the court Tuesday night uh, to take on the Lady Jays at 6 o'clock. Looking at the, the brackets uh, for you before we get started, on the girls' side of things, the number one seed is Trigo. They will host uh, the winner of that Ellis and Stockton game that uh, took place over in the grade school. No uh, final in on that one yet. Uh, hopefully we can get that to you uh, sometime. If not, we'll have it for you Monday morning. The other games uh, in the girls' bracket, our featured matchup Tuesday night will be the number four seed, Smith Center Lady Red, taking on the number five seed, Plainville Lady Cards. Again, the number two seed, Norton, will take on the number, uh, well, now seven seed, Phillips or Lady Panthers. The Lady Panthers were the seventh seed to begin with. And the other game on the girls' side, the number three seed, TMP Lady Monarchs, hosting the number six seed, Oakley Lady Plainsmen. On the boys' side of things, our feature matchup Monday night will be the Phillipsburg Panthers. They will take on the winner of Norton and Stockton. That game going on in the grade school gym right now. The other games on the boys' side Monday night, the number four seed, Trigo, will host the number five seed, Plainville. The number two seed, Ellis, will take on the winner of our game here. Again, the number seven seed, TMP Monarchs, and the number 10 seed, Smith Center Redmond. The other game on the boys' side, the number three, Oakley Plainsmen, take on the number six seed, Hill City Ring next Monday night. We're going to take a quick time out here. When we come back, we'll get the uh, starting lineups for you here from Stockton High School and our mid League basketball tournament uh, coverage. Again, we'll be back in uh, about a minute from now. We'll, come, we'll be back with the starting lineups. You're listening to MCL basketball tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Yeah, right, sir. 41, 40, and 32. All right, Mark, I'm ready. No, just give it back to me. I got him quicker than I thought. And welcome back to Stockton High School. A little quicker break than uh, I thought I would need. So we are back here and looking at our starting lineups for the Monarchs. It's number 12, uh, a sophomore, Jackson Schulte. Number 14, a junior, uh, Brady Kreitzer. Number 32, a senior, Ryan Carlin. Number 40, a senior, Jack Johnson. And number 41, a senior, Jared Mayers. For the Redmen, it is number 3, a 5'10", senior, Colby Benoit. Number 4, a 6'3", senior, Kyle Sass. Number 11, a 6'1", junior, Trenton Colby. Number 15, 6'1", senior, uh, Reese Buckmaster. Number 23, a 6'1", senior, Austin Hobelman. It is going to be Sass and Mayers in the center circle. And the Redmen in those road red jerseys, white numbers, green trim. The Monarchs in their... Uh, or in their home Hawaii jerseys, Navy numbers, and the silver trim. So the Redmen are the visitors on the scoreboard. Mayers wins the tip ahead to uh, Schulte. Schulte around and now to Kreitzer. Kreitzer, right wing with it, working against Reese Buckmaster. Down to Schulte in the right corner. He dribbles up to the right wing, out front to Carlin. Carlin working against Colby Benoit between the circles. Drives down to the left elbow, inside. It goes the pass of Fort Johnson. Picked up by Mayers. Was the loose ball. Rebounded by Colby Benoit as Mayers misses the shot. So Colby Benoit leads the break for the Redmen. Ahead to Buckmaster. Right wing. Now to Benoit. Benoit out to Sass. The Trent Colby. Left wing. Colby. Now to Buckmaster. They swing around to Benoit. Right wing. Benoit looks inside. He drives in. Looks underneath for Sass. Sass comes away with the loose basketball. Now to Hobelman. Hobelman out front to Buckmaster. Buckmaster hands it back off to Trent Colby. Colby, top of the key, now to the right elbow to Sass. Inside for Buckmaster. Buckmaster, right block up and good. 
So the Redmen strike first here with 7.05 left to go in the first quarter. The Smith Center Redmen now lead the TMP Monarchs 2-0. Monarch basketball as Carlin has it between the circles. He dribbles back out to the center circle. Inside pass for Johnson. They kick it out to two. Schulte, his three-pointer's on the way, and it rattles in. So Jackson Schulte gets the three, and it puts the Monarchs up. Three to two with 6.40 left to go in the first quarter. Colby Benoit drives in, left block, and he's going to get called for the charge. His first personal foul, first Redmond team foul. Coming in the ball game for the Monarchs, going to be number two, a sophomore, Lucas Lang. So Lang comes in, and uh, Kreitzer takes a seat. 6.39 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond, three to two. Lang brings it up the court, right to left on your radio dial. He's between the circles, dribbles over to the right wing, picks up his dribble there. Now out front to Carlin. Carlin behind the back dribble, now between the legs, looks to the sideline, gets the uh, call. Top of the key now to Lang, right corner. They look inside for Mayers, can't get it to him. Now it's kicked out of bounds by Hobelman, and it will be TMP basketball. 6-14 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 3-2. Schulte inbounds to uh, Carlin, right wing. Carlin picks up his dribble out front to Lang. Lang between the circles. Now to Carlin, right wing. Carlin looks in. Back out to Lang between the circles to Schulte. Down to the left baseline to Mayers. Out front to Lang. They swing around to Carlin, right wing. Carlin looks inside. Picks up his dribble. Now to Lang between the circles. Back to Carlin, right wing. Carlin inside on the baseline of four Mayers. Back to Carlin, right wing inside for Johnson. Johnson at the free throw line out to Lang. Three pointers on its way. No good. Rattles out. Rebounded by Hobelman. Hobelman now lets ahead to Buckmaster. Buckmaster pushes up the court, splits the defense, throws it up at the basket as he was tripped. And no foul called. So TMP basketball as they come away with the loose basketball. Lang tipped by Hobelman. Back in the hands of Lang. Lang in the left corner. But just under five and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 3-2. Johnson has it at the right block, working against Sass. Pump fakes up and good. Jack Johnson gets his first points of the ball game. And the TMP Monarchs lead by three, 5-2 with 5-10 left to go in the first quarter. Trayton Colby has it for the Redmond, picks up his dribble, looks to pass off, goes to Colby Benoit, out to Hobelman in the right corner. Hobelman looks inside for Sass, can't get it to him. Sass working against Jared Mayers underneath. Now they swing it around to Benoit, left wing. Benoit back inside for Buckmaster. Buckmaster left block up and left that short. No good. Fighting for the rebound. Johnson comes down with it underneath the basket for the Monarchs. Austin Oldman going to get called for a foul. His first personal foul. Second Redmond team foul. Getting set to come into the game for the Monarchs. Carson Jacobs, the junior. And coming back into the ball game, Brady Kreitzer. Mayers takes a seat and Schulte takes a seat. 4.50 left to go in the first quarter. The uh, TMP Monarchs will lead the Smith Center Redmond 5-2. to two. Jacobs has it left baseline. Skip pass to Carlin. Right corner three. No good. Rebound fought for. Johnson comes up with it. And now we're going to have a foul called here on the Redmond. Their third team foul. And it's going to be on Kyle Sass. His first personal foul. So Jack Johnson heads to the free throw line. 4.38 left to go in the first quarter. Johnson's free throw on its way and good. He now has three points. Makes it a four-point Monarch lead, a 6-2 to two over the Smith Center Redmond. 4.38 left to go in the first quarter. McConnell League basketball tournament, play-in game. Johnson misses the second one. Rebounded by Sass, ahead to Buckmaster. Buckmaster hands it off to Trenton Colby at the right wing. Colby on the dribble, working against... Uh, Kreitzer. Now to Benoit. Benoit back out to Colby. Ahead to Buckmaster. Top of the key. Buckmaster down to the right wing. Into the right corner to Benoit. He looks inside for Sass. Sass working against Carson Jacobs. Sass has it uh, tipped out by Jacobs. Out of bounds and it will be Redmond basketball. As Griffin Coogler comes in, Trenton Colby going to take a seat. 4.15 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond. 6-2, Sass right underneath the basket. Great look as Sass gets the two points, and that ends a 6-0 run. The TMP Monarchs were on. It's now a two-point ball game. 6-4 with 4 5 left to go as Sass tips it in the hands of Kugler. Kugler brings it up. Now to Buckmaster. Buckmaster going to set up the offense between the circles down to the right wing. The Benoit, it's tipped out by Lang, and it will remain Redmond basketball. 
as Johnson going to take a seat, and Mayers comes back into the ball game for the Monarchs. 3.56 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond. 6-4, Colby Benoit has it right side. Looking, letting the offense set up to Buckmaster. Now to Kugler, inside for Benoit. Benoit over Mayers, good. So Colby Benoit gets his first points in the ball game, and it ties things up at 6. 3.40 left to go in the first quarter. TMP with the basketball as Carlin has it. Now to Kreitzer, back to Carlin between the circles. Ryan Carlin on the dribble, picks it up, working against this 2-3 defense by the Redmen. Lang has it left wing, back out front to Carlin between the circles. Again, the Swiss Center Redmen in a 2-3 defense, working against this uh, TMP offense. Lang has it, now to Carlin, swing around to Kreitzer, right wing, he looks inside for Jacobs, gets it to him underneath for Mayers, up and good. <laughs> And makes it 8-6. to six. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond with 3.05 left to go in the first quarter. Underneath for Kugler. Kugler up under. No good as it rolls off the front of the iron. Rebounded by Jacobs ahead to Lang. Lang between the legs dribble on the left baseline. Out front to Kreitzer. Kreitzer back to Lang left wing. Lang out front to Carlin. Carlin drives inside. Left block up off the glass. No good. Rebound by Mayers. Put back. Counted. He's going to line for an and one. This will be the fourth team foul on the Redmond. And the second on Kyle Sass. Mayers heads to the free throw line for his and one attempt. Trenton Colby comes in for the Redmond. Reese Buckmaster takes a seat. Looks like Jackson Schulte into the ball game for the TMP Monarchs. And Ryan Carlin takes a seat. Heston Maxwell comes in. Kyle Sass can take a seat with those two fouls. So Maxwell into the ball game for the first time here. With 243 left to go in the first quarter. TMP Monarchs lead by four, 10 to six, as Mayer's free throw on its way, no good. Fighting for the rebound, Trenton Colby comes up with it, and a foul called here on the Monarchs, their first team foul. And the first on Carson Jacobs. 2.42 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by four, 10 to six. Colby Benoit brings it left to right on your radio dial, ahead to Austin Hobelman, left wing. Hobelman looks in, now to Kugler, left corner. Kugler dribbles up to the left wing, gets a screen there for Maxwell. Inside for Maxwell, left block up, and good. Great look there by Kugler, got the screen. A little pick and roll that time for the Redmond. Pulls him within two as uh, Schulte's uh, pass goes out of bounds. It will be Redmond basketball as Jack Johnson comes back in. And Carson Jacobs is going to take his seat. 2.17 left to go in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 10 to 8. As uh, Colby Benoit inbounds to Trenton Colby. Colby brings it left to right on your radio dial. It'll be picked up a half court by Kreitzer. Back to Benoit, right, left wing. Skip pass to Colby. Right wing three's on its way. No good. Just misses that time. Rebounded by Mayers. Mayers brings it up to court now for the Monarchs. Ahead to Kreitzer. Backside pass for Schulte. Right block up off the glass and good. So Schulte gets the basket. And that puts the Monarchs back up by four. 12 to eight with a minute 50 and counting left to go in the first quarter. Maxwell has it. Was looking for Hobelman, tipped by Kugler as he was cutting towards the basket, and it will be Monarch basketball as Lucas Lang takes a seat, and Ryan Carlin comes back into the ball game. Minute 45 left to go in the first quarter. The uh, TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmen 12 to 8. The winner of this game takes on Ellis on a Monday night here in the first round of the tournament. Again, these are the play-in games as uh, Schulte gets called for the travel, and it will be Redmen basketball as Buckmaster comes back in. And Austin Holman going to take a seat. So Holman takes a seat, and Buckmaster again comes back in. And we have a minute 28 left to play here in the first quarter. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmen by that four-point margin. Benoit has it. Fakes left, goes right now to Buckmaster. Buckmaster. Going to set things up here. Gets a screen from Maxwell. Now kicks it to Benoit, right wing. Benoit underneath for Kugler. Kugler, right block up and no good. Rebounded by Jared Mayers. Mayers lets everybody clear out ahead to Ryan Carlin. Carlin drives all the way down. Left block high off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Mayers. Put back. No good. Rebound fought for. Still fighting for it. And Trent Colby comes away with it. Colby drives in. Tipped and stolen away by Ryan Carlin. Carlin. Brings it back up the court quickly, down to the left block. Picks up his dribble there, out front to Kreitzer. He's swinging around to Schulte, right wing. Schulte looks inside, now out front to Carlin. Ryan Carlin getting to reset the offense here with 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And the TMP Monarchs lead it by four, 12 to eight. Mayers under the basket. 
And you can have a foul called here on the Redmond. Fifth team foul and the first on Reese Buckmaster. Carson Jacobs comes back into the ball game for the Monarchs. Mayer's going to take a seat. Schulte will inbound underneath his own basket with 36.9 seconds left. They look inside for Johnson. Ball gets tipped around. Jacobs loses the handle on it. Picked up by Kugler, and he's going to be fouled. Second team foul on the Monarchs here in the first quarter. It's on Jackson Schulte. His first personal foul as Joel Montgomery comes into the ball game. And uh, going to be uh, Colby Benoit to take a seat. Trent Colby will bring the ball up the court for the Redmond. Left to right on your radio dial. Just under 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. A four-point game. TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 12-8. Kugler drives in on Carlin. And going to have a foul called here. Third team foul on the Monarchs. And it's going to be on Ryan Carlin, his first. So Redmond basketball as Buckmaster will inbound underneath his own basket. Buckmaster looking, gets it into Trenton Colby. Quick on the trigger three, he buries it. Trenton Colby gets his first points of the ball game, makes it 12 to 11 as Kreitzer drives in. Carlin, left corner three, is no good. Ball is a shot, rebounded though by Jack Johnson. He falls to the floor, ball's up for grabs and the Monarchs come away with it. Carlin has it, one dribble at the buzzer, three is no good. And that's how the first quarter ends with the TMP Monarchs up 12 to 11. We'll take a timeout here. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. You're listening to uh, MCL basketball tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Going to be Trenton Colby, Griffin Kugler, Joel Montgomery, Reese Buckmaster, and Austin Hobelman for the Redmen. It's Schulte, Johnson, Jacobs, uh, Kreitzer, and Carlin for the Monarchs. As they look inside for Montgomery. He couldn't quite hold on to that pass. Johnson comes away at the seal ahead to Schulte. Schulte down to the right wing, inside for Jacobs at the right block. Jacobs, one dribble, back out to Schulte, now to Johnson. Ahead to Kreitzer. Kreitzer back around to Schulte. Schulte looks inside for Jacobs through his hands and picked up by Buckmaster. Buckmaster going to bring it left to right on your radio dial for the Redmen. Seven and a half minutes left to go in the first half. A one-point ball game. TMP leads Smith Center 12 to 11. Hobelman has it. Now to Buckmaster. Buckmaster going to drive in. And three-second violation on the Redmen as Jared Mayers comes back in. Carson Jacobs is going to take a seat. 7.22 left to go in the first half. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by one, 12 to 11. Kreitzer has it, working against Trenton Colby out front. Dribbles down to the right wing, picked up there by Montgomery. Ball gets tipped by Montgomery right in the hands of Schulte. Now to Mayers, back out to Kreitzer, out front to Carlin. Carlin between the circles. Seven minutes left to go in the first half. The TMP Monarchs lead the, Phillips, or, or lead the Smith Center Redmond, I should say, 12 to 11. Carlin out front to Kreitzer. Kreitzer drives in. Shot off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Mayers. Mayers, shot no good. Fighting for the rebound, comes back up with it. Mayers' putback is good. So Jared Mayers now has six. And the TMP Monarchs lead by three. 14 to 11 with 6.38 left to go. As Holman gets the pass inside and going to have a foul called here. This one's going to be on the Monarchs. Their fourth team foul. So instead they call the foul on Austin Hobelman. So that's the 16th foul on the Redmond and the second on Austin Hobelman. 6.37 left to go in the first half. Colby Benoit comes back into the ball game. Joel Montgomery gonna take a seat. Three point game here. And the TMP Monarchs lead to the Smith Center Redmond. 
by three, 14 to 11. Pass was intended for uh, Schulte, goes out of bounds, and it will be Redmond basketball as Lucas Lang comes back in. Schulte going to take a seat. Redmond basketball, Sheridan Colby inbounds. The Redmond go left to right on your radio dial as Colby Benoit brings it across the timeline, working against Ryan Carlin. Drives down to the left elbow, now to Holman at the right elbow. Takes one dribble, kicks out Trent Colby right corner three. No good, it rattles off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Mayers ahead to Carlin. Carlin leads the break all the way inside. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Holman. Holman hands it off to Benoit. Benoit now leads the break for the Redmond. Left to right on your radio dial, drives all the way in. Shot is up and good. Colby Benoit takes it from one end to the other. Saw an opening, gets the points. And it's now a one-point game. It's Jared Mayers. Right block, no good. Rebounded by Buckmaster. Buckmaster brings it back left to right on your radio dial for the Redmen. Ahead to Hobelman. Hobelman pump fakes up under. And can the Redmen take the lead? Hobelman gets his first point. So the Redmen now have a one-point lead of 15 to 14. Johnson has it to Kreitzer underneath for Mayers. Left block up and good. So the Monarchs regain their one-point lead, 16 to 15. 5 of 30 and counting left to go in this first half. Back and forth we go here in Stockton. The play-in games, 7 seed TMP Monarchs and the 10 seed the Smith Center Rem. The winner takes on Ellis on Monday night. Hobelman, free throw line jumper off just to the right. No good. Rebounded by Carlin. Carlin brings it quickly up the court for the Monarchs. He's at the top of the key. Inside for Mayers. Mayers right block up and good. Jerry Mayers now with 10. And the TMP Monarchs lead it by 3, 18 to 15 with 5 minutes left to go in the first half. Colby Benoit brings it quickly up the court for the Redmond. Kicks it to Hobelman. Right baseline shot. Rattles in. <laughs> Coach Buckmaster wants a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him with 4.53 left to go in the first half. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by 1, 18 to 17. You're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Okay. left to go in the first half of this MCL basketball tournament play-in game as the number seven seed TMP Monarchs lead the number 10 seed Smith Center Redmond by one, 18 to 17. TMP basketball out of the timeout. Ryan Carlin has it now to Schulte. Top of the key, he's going to drive in. Shot is up, and he's going to get called for a charge as Holman had his feet set. Fourth team foul on the Monarchs. And it's going to be the second on Jackson Schulte as Holman drew that charge that time for uh, the Redmond. Schulte takes a seat with those two fouls. 4.41 left to go in the first half. And the TMP Monarchs will lead the Swiss Center Redmond, 18 to 17. Montgomery brings it up the court for the Redmond, ahead to Buckmaster. Buckmaster, top of the key. Round and stolen away by Carlin, and Carlin gonna step out of bounds, and it will be Redmond basketball. As a Carlin stepped out of bounds, he was trying to steal that one away. So Redmond basketball, and Colby Benoit will inbound with four and a half minutes left to go in the first half. The TMP Monarchs lead by one, 18 to 17 over the Smith Center. Redmond, Colby Benoit has it, calls out the offense to Montgomery, right wing, inside for Hobelman. Backdoor pass for Montgomery, up and good. Montgomery gets his first points of the ball game. Three-pointer by Carlin, a high harking three is good for Ryan Carlin. His first points of the ball game makes it 21 to 19. Hobelman shot up off the glass and good. Fast action here in Stockton as the Redmond quickly down the court as Hobelman had a fast break opportunity. Ties things back up at 21 all with 3.50 and counting left to go in the ball game. Here in the first half, Carlin this time right wing, pump fakes, kicks it out front to Lang. Now around to the left wing to Kreitzer. Kreitzer looks at the basket, doesn't take the shot. They swing around to Carlin, right wing, underneath for Mayers. Mayers out front to Lang, back to Kreitzer, left wing. Takes one dribble, picks it up. Now passes to Carlin, right wing. He'll put up the three over Hobelman. Rattles out, no good. Rebounded by Buckmaster. Buckmaster brings it quickly up the court for the Redmond. Dribbles out to the right wing, going to set up the offense with 325 left to go in the first half. Benoit drives in, kicks it to Sass. Pump fakes out to Montgomery. Montgomery three, no good. Rebound, fought four. 
And Lang going to come up with the basketball for the Monarchs with 3.13 left to go in the first half. We're tied at 21 all here between the Smith Center Redmond and the TMP Monarchs. Kreitzer has it to Jacobs, left elbow. Takes one dribble, kicks out to Carlin, right wing. Carlin out front to Lang between the circles. Now to Kreitzer, back to Lang, around to Carlin, right wing. Carlin. And now a timeout going to be called here. 2.54 left to go in the first half. We're tied at 22 between the TMP Monarchs and the Smith Center Redmond. Looks like uh, Monarchs going to call a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them as you're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. And a welcome back to Stockton High School. Jesse Ray with you. 21 to 21 is our score here between the number seven seed TMP Monarchs and the number 10 seed Smith Center Redmond. The winner takes on Ellis on a Monday night. The other game going on right now, Norton against Stockton. The winner of that game will take on the number one seed, the Phillips Earth Panthers on Monday. Back on the court for the Redmond, it's Kugler, Colby, along with Buckmaster, Hobelman, and Benoit for the, or for the Monarchs. It's going to be uh, Ethan Brummer. He's in the game for the first time for the Monarchs. Also, Ryan Carlin. Out there is Jack Johnson, Jared Mayers, and also Lucas Lang. Lang has it left wing inside for Mayers. Free throw line jumper is no good. Rebound fought for. Mayers comes away with it, and he's going to get called for the travel, so it will be. Uh, Redmond basketball with 2.37 left to go in the first half. We're tied at 21 all. Full court pressure by the uh, Monarchs. Colby Benoit brings it up the court for the Redmond. Working against Ryan Carlin. Top of the key between the legs. Dribble there for Benoit. Picks up his dribble now to Kugler. Kugler, right wing. Crosses over. Splits the defense off the glass and good. What a great move by Griffin Kugler. Saw an opening, split the defense, and kissed it off the glass, and the Redmond lead by two, 23 to 21, with 2.15 left to go in the first half. Carlin has the top of the key, picks up his dribble, guarded tightly by Kugler. Now to Lang, down to Brummer. Brummer, left wing, back out front to Lang. Now to Carlin, right wing. Carlin picks up his dribble, looks inside. Now back out front to Lang, to Johnson, the free throw line. To Carlin, right wing, threes on its way, buries it. Brian Carlin with a second three-pointer here in the second quarter, and it puts the Monarchs back up 24 to 23. As Trent Kirby drives in, kicks it to Buckmaster underneath. Buckmaster gets the two points, and the, or the Redmen regain a one-point lead, 25 to 24. Monarch basketball, right wing with it. And now we're going to have a foul called here on the Monarchs. This will be their fifth team foul. And it's going to be on Jared Mayers, his first. Kreitzer comes back into the ball game. And Lucas Lang going to take a seat for the Monarchs. Minute 35 left to play in the first half. The Smith Center Redmond lead the TMP Monarchs 25 to 24. Officials timeout. It's Buckmaster tying a shoe here. And during that time, Carson Jacobs comes in for the TMP Monarchs. Jared Mayer is going to take a seat. In a minute 35 left to go in the first half. And the Smith Center Redmond lead the TMP Monarchs by one, 25 to 24. Benoit working against Ryan Carlin, ahead to Kugler, right wing. He works against Ethan Brummer. Kugler now to Hobelman, back to Kugler. Down to the right corner to Benoit. Benoit looks inside for Hobelman. They can't quite get it to him. Now to Buckmaster, back to Benoit. Three-pointer on its way, rattles out, no good. Rebounded by Jacobs. Jacobs ahead now to Kreitzer. Kreitzer down to Brummer in the right corner. Brummer picks up his dribble there. Out front to Carlin. Carlin puts up the three, this time no good. Rebounded by Colby Benoit. Benoit brings it up the court for the Redmond with a minute left to go in the first half. Benoit drives all the way in, out to Hobelman, top of the key, threes on its way, and it rattles in as Hobelman hit the front of the iron, it bounced straight up and went in for Austin Hobelman, and the Redmond now lead by four, 28 to 24. Jacobs with it, off the glass, no good, rebounded by Johnson, Johnson left block, no good, rebound fought for Johnson again with it, left block, this time no good, rebounded by Kugler. Kugler ahead to Colby Benoit. 
All right, pushes it quickly up the court, ahead to Hobelman, and Hobelman pump fakes, up under, no good. Fighting for the rebound, Buckmaster has it up, no good, and this time rebounded by Johnson. Johnson quickly ahead to Carlin. Carlin drives all the way down to the left elbow, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson elevates from the left to baseline, shot good. So that cuts him to the Redmond lead, 28 to 26, with 10 seconds left to go in the first half. Trenton Colby has it out of Griffin Kugler. Kugler working against Ethan Brummer with five seconds. Kugler drives in, splits the defense, and he's going to get called for the travel. Two seconds left to go in the first half. The Swiss Center Redmond lead the TMP Monarchs by two, 28 to 26. The Redmond going to put on a full court press here, press here, with two seconds left to go in this uh, first half. Carlin gets the inbounds at half court. Puts it up at the buzzer, no good. And that's how the first half ends with the Smith Center Redmond up 28 to 26. We'll take a timeout. Come back, wrap up the first half for you right after this as you're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. game and then uh, your tournament is uh, completed. So we have a good one here so far through the first half. It's a two-point Smith Center Redmond lead over the DMP Monarchs 28 to 26. As we are getting set here for the third quarter, Kyle Sass, Trent Colby, Colby Benoit, Reese Buckmaster, and Austin Holman on the court for the Redmond. We await the uh, TMP Monarchs to come out here. This is going to be Jared Mayers along with uh, Jack Johnson. Also going to be uh, Ryan Carlin along with uh, Jackson Schulte and uh, Brady Kreitzer. Monarch basketball to start the second half as they will go left to right on your radio dial here. Kreitzer has it. He's going to work against Trenton Colby. Down to the right corner to Carlin inside for Mayers and going to have a foul called here. First team foul on the Redmond. And it's going to be the third on Kyle Sass. Jackson Schulte to inbound underneath his basket here. Looks in, inbounds to Mayers. Mayers going to get called for a charge. His second personal foul and the first Monarch team foul. So Mayers going to get called with a push there. And he called with that offensive charge. And it will be Redmond basketball. As Lucas Lang comes into the ball game, Jackson Schulte going to take a seat. 7.50 left to go in the third quarter. The TMP Monarchs uh, just getting a foul called on Jacks, or on uh, Jared Mayers. So it will be Redmond basketball with a two-point lead, 28-26. to 26. Trenton Colby now to Colby Benoit. Benoit right side, now out front to Buckmaster. He's doing it quickly around to Trenton Colby. Colby left wing, top of the key to Holbelman. He loses the handle on it. Jack Johnson comes away with the steal. Johnson ahead to Mayers, layup, good. So that ties things up at 28 all with just under seven and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Here between the Smith Center Redmond and the TMP Monarchs, Trenton Colby picks up his dribble. And a Kreitzer gonna tip this one out of bounds and it will be Redmond basketball. 7-19 left to go in the third quarter. And again, we're tied at 28 all. Trenton Colby getting set to inbound the basketball just in front of the scorer's desk for the Redmond. Does so to Colby Benoit. Benoit. Across the timeline, working against Ryan Carlin between the leg dribble underneath for Sass. Tipped out by Mayers right in the hands of Lang. Lang ahead to Carlin, stolen away by Benoit. Benoit brings it back right to left on your radio dial quickly for the Redmond. Drives in, stops and pops in the paint over Mayers. Good. So Benoit stopped and popped over the much taller Jared Mayers that time. Got the ball to fall. And Benoit now is six, and it puts the Redmond back up by two, 30 to 28. Carlin picks up the basketball. He's on the dribble, out front now to Kreitzer with 6.45 left to go in the third quarter. A miscommunication there between the Monarchs. Kreitzer threw it to where Carlin was, and Carlin was cutting back in towards the basket. So Redmond basketball, Trent Colby went down in front of the Monarch bench. Does so to Colby Benoit. He works against Ryan Carlin. Right to left on your radio dial across the timeline, 6.30, 6 and counting. We'll have to go in the third quarter. Buckmaster has it on the left baseline. Buckmaster out to Benoit. Benoit left, elbow shot, no good. Rebounded by Jared Mayers. Mayers brings it back ahead to Ryan Carlin. Carlin drives down to the baseline, dribbles out to the right corner. Now to Lang. They swing her out front to Kreitzer. Kreitzer now to uh, Carlin. Back to Lane, right wing. Lane on the dribble. Out front to Jack. 
to Johnson. Back to Lang. They look inside for Mayers. Lang puts up the three and buries it. So Lucas Lang hits the basket. Puts the Monarchs up by one, 31 to 30. Colby Benoit has it at the free throw line. Picks up his dribble, kicks it out Trenton Colby, right wing. He's going to drive in, splits the defense, and a block called on Ryan Carlin. His second personal foul, second Monarch team foul. So Trenton Colby heads to the free throw line for the Redmen here. I'll get set for his first one. First one for Trenton Colby, rattles in. That ties things up at 31 all as uh, Griffin Kugler comes in for the uh, Smith Center Redmond. Kyle Sass takes a seat. Uh, Carson uh, Jacobs comes in for the uh, TMP Monarchs. And Jared Mayers takes a seat. Nothing but the bottom of the net that time for Trenton Colby. Puts the Redmond back up by 132 to 31. Johnson has it. Now to uh, Schulte as he just came back into the ball game for uh, Kreitzer. Schulte has it left wing out front now to Lucas Lang. Lang drives inside, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson right baseline shot is no good. Fighting for the rebound and it's tipped in the hands of Colby Benoit. Benoit ahead to Kugler. Kugler right wing out front now to Buckmaster with 525 left to go in the third quarter. The Smith Center Redmond lead it. As Trent Colby puts up the deep three, no good. Fighting for the rebound. Buckmaster comes up with it, and he's going to be fouled. This will be the third team foul on the TMP Monarchs here in the third quarter. And the Smith Center Redmen lead by one, 32 to 31. Fouls on Lucas Lang, his first. As the Brady Kreitz are getting set to come back into the ball game. Buckmaster going to shoot two here for the Redmen. First one for Buckmaster's on its way and good. He now has five points. Kratzer comes in. Lang going to take a seat after picking up that foul. 5.17 left to go in the third quarter. The Swiss Center Redmond now lead by two, 33 to 31. Buckmaster getting set for his second free throw. 5.17 left to go in the third quarter. Trying to make it a three-point Redmond lead. It's on its way and cannot hit that one. Rebounded by Carson Jacobs. Jacobs ahead to Carlin. Carlin drives in left. Block floater off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Buckmaster. Buckmaster pushes it quickly up the court. Leaves it for Trenton Colby. Left wing. Skip pass for Holman. Uh, Trenton Colby just losing the handle on that one when it left his hand. And it goes out of bounds. It will be TMP basketball. 5.02 left to go in the third quarter. The Smith Center Redmond lead the TMP Monarchs 33-31. to 31. Kreitzer brings it left to right across the timeline for the Monarchs. Now to Carlin, left wing, gets a screen out front from Johnson, picks up his dribble top of the key, now to Schulte. Schulte gets a screen from Jacobs, tipped by Buckmaster, picked up by Kreitzer though. Kreitzer underneath for Johnson, left block. Johnson working against Hobelman, picks up his dribble, passes it off, stolen away by Trayton Colby. Colby pushes it up the court, left block, off the glass, good! Trayton Colby now with seven in the Swiss Center. Redmond take a four-point lead, 35-31, to 31, with just under four and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Ryan Carlin has it now to Schulte, to Kreitzer, right wing. Now to Johnson. Johnson, top of the key on the dribble. Picks up now to Schulte, left side. Schulte working against Trenton Colby. Behind the back dribble at the free throw line. Drives in, up and good. Jackson Schulte now is seven. His uh, first basket since the first quarter. And it makes it a two-point Smith Center lead, 35-33. to 33. Four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Redmond basketball as they go right to left on your radio dial. Griffin Kugler with it. Down to uh, Colby Benoit in the right corner. Out to Holman. He pump fakes back to Benoit. Benoit looks inside for Buckmaster. Buckmaster puts it up. Blocked by the uh, Monarchs in the hands of Holman. They swing it around to Kugler. Kugler top of the key three. Buries it. Griffin Kugler for three. Kugler has five in the Redmond lead by five. 38 to 33. 335 left to go in the third quarter. And Colby Benoit reaches in. His second personal foul. Second Redmond team foul. <laughs> Lang comes back in Mayers comes back in for the Monarchs Johnson and Carlin take a seat for the Redmen Hobelman and, er, and Trenton Colby both take a seat as Montgomery and Maxwell both come back into the ball game Lucas Lang with it he's between the circles going to set things up top of the key now the left wing to Kreitzer just under three and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. The Redmen lead by five, 38 to 33. Mayers drives in, floaters up in the paint, and it's good. Mayers now has 14, and the 
Monarchs lead, or er, cut into the Redmond lead, 38 to 35 with 3.10 left to go in the third quarter. Joel Montgomery has it down to Benoit. Benoit on the right baseline. Working against Lang. Back out to Montgomery. Inside for Buckmaster. And Buckmaster going to be fouled. Third team foul, or third personal on Jackson Schulte and the fourth team foul on the TMP Monarchs. Thirty-eight to thirty-five, and the Smith Center Redmen lead the TMP Monarchs by that three-point margin. Ryan Carlin comes back into the ball game for the uh, Monarchs. Buckmaster inbound, looking, gets it into Kugler. Kugler at the right block, shot is up, and it is good. Kugler now has seven, and the Redmen lead by five once again, forty to thirty-five. Montgomery tips that one out. And it will be Monarch basketball. 2.51 left to go in the third quarter. The Smith Center Redmond lead it 40 to 35. The inbound to Mayers at the free throw line. Now to Carlin. Carlin swings around to Lang. Lang between the circles. Sets up the offense. Now to Carlin left side. Down to the left corner to Mayers. Mayers bounce pass inside for Jacobs. Shot is up. Counted. He's going line for an and one. Carson Jacobs gets his first points of the ball game. And the Redmond pick up their third team foul. And it's on Heston Maxwell, his first. Carson Jacobs heads to the free throw line to shoot his and one attempt, trying to cut it into this Redmond lead. Smith Center leads TMP right now by three, 40 to 37. As Jacobs hits the and one attempt, he now has three and it makes it 40 to 38, a two point Redmond lead. Kugler has it underneath for Maxwell. Maxwell blocked by Mayers in the hand of Montgomery. Montgomery blocked by Mayers. Montgomery blocked by Mayers again. Mayers comes away with it. Saves it into Jacobs. Jacobs leads the break for the Monarchs. Left to right on your radio dial. Lang, right block, shot no good. Rebound tipped out by Maxwell. Kreitzer tracks it down. Now ahead to Carlin. Carlin back to Kreitzer, left wing. Down to the baseline to uh, Mayers. Mayers underneath the basket up and no good. Rebounded by Jacobs. Jacobs loses it out of bounds and they're going to say last touch by the Redmond. And it will be Monarch basketball. 209 left to go in the third quarter. And the uh, Smith Center Redmond lead at 40 to 38. Trenton Colby, Austin Hobelman, and Kyle Sass all come back into the fall game for the Redmond. Colby Benoit, Heston Maxwell, and Reese Buckmaster all take a seat. 209 left to go in the third quarter. The Smith Center Redmond lead by two, 40 to 38 over the TMP Monarchs here in the Mid League Basketball Tournament playing games. Mayers gets the inbounds now to Carlin. Carlin looks to the sideline, gets the call. Between the leg dribble, between the circles, working against Griffin Kugler, picks up his dribble now to Kreitzer left wing. Just under two minutes left to play in the third quarter. The Smith Center Redmond, the 10 seed, lead the 7 seed. TMP Monarchs, Mayers, the free throw line jumper is good, and that tie sends up as Jared Mayers has 16, and we're tied at 40 with a minute 45 left to play in the third quarter. Montgomery has it left wing. He's going to drive in, left block up, and good. Montgomery now has four, and the Redmond regain a two-point lead, 42 to 40. Right corner three, buried by Lucas Lang. Lang now has six, and the Monarchs regain a one-point lead, 43 to 42. Minute 20 left to play in the third quarter. Here are the Big Con League Basketball Tournament play-in games. The number seven seed, TMP Monarchs. We the number 10 seed, Smith Center Redmond. The winner takes on Ellis Monday night. As Kugler looks inside for Holman. Ball gets tipped around, and Carlin comes away with the basketball for the Monarchs. Ahead to Lang, right block up, blocked by Sass. And it is a track down by Kreitzer. Now to Carlin, left wing three. He buries it. Carlin has nine, and the TMP Monarchs take a four-point lead. 46 to 42 with 51 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Holman shot is up, blocked by Jacob, and in the hands of Carlin. Carlin leads the break for the Monarchs behind the back dribble, top of the key. He's going to drive in underneath for Mayers, tipped out by Kugler, and it's going to remain a Monarch basketball as the Redmond touched it last. Colby Benoit comes back into the ball game. 39.6 seconds left to play in the third quarter, and the TMP Monarchs now lead the uh, Smith Center Redmond by four, 46 to 42 as Benoit comes in. Griffin Kugler going to take a seat. Carlin inbounds to Lang in the right corner. Back to Carlin right corner. He's on the dribble. Inside for Mayers. And they're going to have a foul called here. This one's on the Redmond. Their fourth team foul and the third on Austin Hobelman. 34.3 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 46 to 42. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by four. Kreitzer looks to inbound. Carlin comes away with the basketball. He dribbles all the way out into the center circle. Going to set up the offense there. Guarded by Trenton Colby with 26 seconds of counting. A left to go in the third quarter. 
Lucas Lang has it. Now to Jacobs. Free throw line jumper. Rattles out. No good. Rebounded by Jacobs and going to have a foul called. Foul's going to be on at Carson Jacobs. His second personal foul. Fifth Monarchs team foul. 18.4 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Reese Buckmaster comes back in. Kyle Sass going to take a seat. 46 to 42, the TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by that four point margin here in the Mid Continent League Basketball Tournament play in game. The seven seed, the TMP, the 10 seed Smith Center. Colby Benoit brings it up the court now to Trenton Colby. Colby out front to Montgomery. Montgomery down to Benoit. Seven seconds left. Benoit floater up in the paint. No good. Rebounded by Mayers. Mayers, three seconds, two seconds across half court. Spike line through, and he's going to get called for the travel, and it will be 46 to 42, TMP. Weed Smith Center at the end of three. We'll take a timeout here. We'll come back, bring a fourth quarter action right after this as you're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Welcome back to Stockton High School. Jesse Ray with you. MCL basketball tournament playing games. Uh, you win today, you move into the first round. You lose today, you fall to that ninth place game. And uh, after that ninth place game, your tournament is done. Right now, the seven seed TMP Monarchs lead the 10 seed Smith Center Redmond 46 to 42 as the Monarchs outscored the Redmond by six in that quarter, 20 to 14. We start the fourth quarter, Redmond basketball. It's Trenton Colby, Colby Roy, Joel Montgomery. Austin Hobelman and Reese Buckmaster for the Monarchs. It's Ryan Carlin uh, along with uh, Brady Kreitzer. Also out there, Lucas Ling, Jared Mayers, and Carson Jacobs. The Redmond basketball. Colby Benoit drives down to the left block. Turn around, shot from the block, no good. Fighting for the rebound. Benoit comes up with it. Loses the handle on it. Picked up by Hobelman in the right corner. Now to uh, Trenton Colby. Out front to Buckmaster. Buckmaster drives in. Hop step, left block, pump fake off the glass and good. Great move that time by Buckmaster as he kisses that one off the glass and gets the two points, pulls the Redmond with into 46 to 44. With that, Buckmaster ha now has a new season high as Mayers now has 18, and the TMP Monarchs regain a four point lead, 48 to 44. Redmond basketball down by four with 7 10 left to go in this ball game. Montgomery has it, looks inside for Buckmaster, hands it back off to Trenton Colby. Colby around to Benoit, left wing. Benoit inside for Buckmaster, left block. Buckmaster inside for Benoit. Benoit's floater up, no good, off the back of the iron, rebounded by Mayers. Mayers brings it up the court for the Monarchs, ahead to Kreitzer, inside for Jacobs. Jacobs left block, fade away on the paint, on the baseline, good. Carson Jacobs now with five, and it puts the Monarchs up by six, 50 to 44. 640 left to go in this ball game. Sure. Colby Benoit with it, left wing. Picks up his dribble now to Hobelman. Hobelman, top of the key, back to Benoit, left wing. Benoit out front to Montgomery. Montgomery working against Lucas Lang. Going to drive in, loses the handle on it, then he's fouled as Lucas Lang picks up his second. Sixth Monarch team foul. So, going to be... A six point lead. 50 to 44, the TMP Monarchs lead to the uh, Smith Center Redmond. Hobelman has it. Now to uh, Buckmaster, to Benoit, top of the key. Benoit back to uh, Hobelman, inside for Sass, just out of his reach, out of bounds it goes, and it will be Monarch basketball. 6-18 left to go in the ball game. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 50 to 44. Kreitzer brings it up, left to right on your radio dial, across the timeline, picked up by Trenton Colby, now to Carlin, inside for Mayers. Mayers triple teamed on the block, out of bounds goes the ball, and it will be last touch by Jared Mayers. Redmond basketball, and Griffith Cooler comes back in. And uh, Austin Holman comes out. Preston Jacobs comes back in for the TMP Monarchs, and Jared Mayers is going to take a seat. 
6.06 left to go in the ball game. The TMP Monarchs lead by six, 50 to 44. Kugler going to bring it up the court now for the Redmen. Right to left on your radio dial across the timeline. Picked up there by Jackson Schulte. Swings it around to Benoit and right wing inside for Sass. And Jacob's going to get called for the reach in. His third personal foul. Seventh Monarchs team foul. So send Kyle Sass to the free throw line. Shoot one and one. Going to try to cut into this uh, Redmond lead. Or into this Monarch lead, I should say. First and the one and one for Kyle Sass is good. His first point since all the way back in the first quarter. Sass now has three, and the Monarchs' lead is cut to five, a 50 to 45. Sass second free throw, good as well. Kyle Sass hits them both that time. And a Coach Buckmaster wants a timeout. We'll take the timeout with him. With 5.55 left to go in this ball game, the TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by four, 50 to 46. You're listening to MCL basketball tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Five left to go in our ball game. The uh, TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 50 to 46 as Kreitzer gets it to uh, Schulte, right wing. Schulte out front to Carlin, back to Kreitzer, left wing. Kreitzer looks in, skip pass to Carlin, right wing. Carlin back out front to Kreitzer. Did get an update from that other gym at halftime. Stockton was leading Norton. 22 to 17. Carlin, right corner three, rolls out this time, rebounded by Sass. Sass lets everybody clear out and hands it off to Colby Benoit. Benoit brings it up the court for the Redmond. Over to Trenton Colby, left wing. He pump fakes now to the free throw line to Sass. Sass fade away at the free throw line. He buries it. Kyle Sass hits the basket and it pulls the Redmond within two, 50 to 48. With 5.08 left to go in this ballgame. Schulte left corner. He's going to drive in. Left block up and he's headed to the free throw line. The Sass picked up his fourth personal foul, fifth Redmond team foul, and sends Jackson Schulte to the free throw line to shoot two. 5.04 left to play. The TMP Monarchs lead by two, 50 to 48. First free throws on its way, no good. Hubbleman comes back in. Kyle Sass gonna take a seat. So Schulte getting set for his second free throw here, trying to extend this Monarch lead. It's on its way, good. So Jackson Schulte now with eight, and the TMP Monarchs lead by three, 51 to 48, five minutes left to go in the ball game. Benoit has it, miscommunication there, as he threw it to where Kugler was. Kugler was uh, headed towards the basket, though, out of bounds it goes. Monarch basketball as the Kreitzer takes a seat, Lucas Lang comes back in. 4.57 left to play in this ball game. The TMP Monarchs lead by three, 51 to 48. The winner takes on the number two seed, Ellis Railroaders, Monday night. Loser falls in the ninth place game where they'll take on the loser of that Norton Stockton game. Mayers lost it out of bounds and it will be Smith Center basketball. 4.47 left to go in the ball game. TMP leads Smith Center, 51 to 48. Kugler gonna work against uh, Jackson Schulte across the timeline. Between the circles now, ahead to Buckmaster, right wing. Buckmaster looks in, finds a Trenton Colby at the right block. One dribble, shot is up, left it short, rebounded by Jack Johnson. Johnson quickly ahead to Schulte. Schulte, back to Johnson, around to Carlin, left wing. Carlin sets things up from that left wing. Now to Mayers, Mayers drives in, shot is good. So Jared Mayers with 20. And the TMP Monarchs lead at 53 to 48 with 4.10 left to go in this ball game. Griffin Kugler has it left side. Now to Trenton Colby, three-pointers on its way, he buries it. Trenton Colby has 10 and that pulls a Redmond back within two, 53 to 51. Ryan Carlin has it left side. Out front to Johnson, now to Schulte, down to Lang, right corner. 
Inside for Mayers. Ryan Block kicks it out. Stolen away by Kugler. Kugler one-on-one with Ryan Carlin. And Carlin comes away with the steal. That's the second time he's done that in this ball game. And Carlin quickly up. Floater in the paint off the glass and good. Ryan Carlin takes it coast to coast. He's got 11. And the Monarchs lead by four, 55 to 51. Three and a half minutes left to play in this play-in game. The winner takes on Ellis on Monday night in Ellis. The loser falls in a ninth place game. We'll take on the loser of the Norton Stockton game going on right now in the great school gym here in Stockton. 3.15 left to go in our ball game. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond 55-51. Colby Benoit just barely misses a three-pointer as that one just rolls out. And the Monarchs come down with the rebound. Lang ahead to Johnson. Johnson's layup is good. Jack Johnson now with seven. Coach Buckmaster wants a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him. With 2.58 left to go. The TMP Monarchs lead 57-51. You're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA on the World Wide Web. Austin Hobelman in this ball game. So it will be Redmond basketball after that uh, charge was drawn by Austin Hobelman. Jack Johnson picks up his first personal foul again. The second charge drawn by Hobelman in this ball game. Two, uh, ten and counting left to go. The TMP Monarchs lead 57-51. Trenton Colby drives in. Left block up and he's uh, going to lose it out of bounds. Going to say last touch by the Monarchs. And it will be Redmond basketball. 2.05 left to go. 57-51. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond by six. Reese Buckmaster in a bound under his own basket. Gets it to Hobelman. Right block, no good. Rebounded by Carlin. Carlin pushes it quickly up the court for the Monarchs. Up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Sass. Sass ahead to uh, Trenton Colby. Colby ahead to Colby Benoit with a minute 50 left to go. Benoit drives in. Kicks underneath for Hobelman. He pump fakes. Kicks it out to Trenton Colby. Colby left wing. Skip pass thrown away by Mayers. Mayers pushes it up, working against Buckmaster. And going to have a foul called on Buckmaster. His second personal foul, sixth Redmond team foul, and it will be Monarch basketball. A minute 40 left to go in this game. The TMP Monarchs lead by six, 57 to 51. Jackson Schulte to inbound. Looking, goes in to Johnson, now to Mayers, right elbow. Mayers passes around to Schulte, left elbow, and he's going to get called for the travel. Shuffle those feet a little bit. And it will be a Redmond basketball. Minute 35 left to go. And the TMP Monarchs lead by six, 57-51. Hobelman going to take a seat. And it's going to be Griffin Kugler coming into the ballgame for the Redmond. Trenton Colby going to bring it up right to left on your radio dial for the Redmond with a minute and a half left to play. 
Six point ball game, 57-51. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond. Kugler up, under, shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Mayers. Mayers, outlets ahead to Lang. Lang brings it across half court, and the TMP Monarchs call a timeout. So with a minute 19 left to go in this ball game, the TMP Monarchs lead 57-51. We'll take a timeout with them. So you're listening to MCL basketball tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Seven to 51, the TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond. Here in the uh, play-in game, seven seed versus 10 seed. The seven seed is TMP, the 10 seed is Smith Center. The winner of this one takes on Ellis, the number two seed on a Monday night down in Ellis. Back on the court we go. That's Griffin Kugler, Trenton Colby, Colby Noit, along with Reese Buckmaster and Joel Montgomery for the Redmond. Lucas Lang, along with Ryan Carlin, also out there, Jackson Schulte, Jack Johnson, and Jared Mayers for the Monarchs. Monarch basketball out of the timeout. They go left to right on your radio dial. Schulte will inbound. Looking, looking, gets it into Mayers. Mayers hands it off to Lang. Lang working against Trenton Colby. Down to the top of the key, out to Schulte. Schulte with a minute 10 left to go. Drives inside, picks it up at the left wing. Now to Mayers. Mayers skip pass to Lang. Lang. Picked up by Trenton Colby, and Colby going to get called for the foul. His first personal foul. Seventh Redmond team foul sends Lucas Lang to the free throw line. Shoot one and one. Minute two left to play. And Sass and Hobelman both come back in. Kugler and Montgomery both take a seat. Lang getting set for first into the one and one here. It's on its way. Good. So Lang has seven points, and uh, the lead is seven for the TMP Monarchs, 58 to 51 with a minute two left to play in this ball game. Lang's second one, good as well. He now has eight, and the TMP Monarchs lead by eight, 59 to 51. Benoit has the top of the key, now to Sass. Sass to Trenton Colby, right wing. Colby out to Benoit, top of the key, three's on its way. No good, rattles out. Rebound, five, four, Holman comes up with it, and they're going to have a foul called here. Ninth team foul on the Monarchs. Fouls on Ryan Carlin, his third. Holman heads to the free throw line to shoot one and one for the Redmen. Trying to cut it into this Monarch lead as they lead by eight, 59 to 51 over the Smith Center Redmen. First in the one and one is good for Austin Holman. He now has 10 points. Holman getting set for the second free throw now. On its way, no good, rebound, fought for, and Jackson Schulte comes away with the rebound. Third personal foul picked up there by Reese Buckmaster, eighth team foul on the Monarchs, or on the Redmen, I should say. Sends Jackson Schulte to the free throw line. He's one of two from the line in this ball game. 59 to 52, and the TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmen. 46.5 seconds left to play. Schulte hits the first one. He now has nine points. Schulte getting set for his second one. Trying to make it a nine point game and does so. Schulte picks up his 10th point of the ball game and it makes it a nine point lead for the TMP Monarchs. Buckmaster, top of the key three is on its way. He buries it. Buckmaster with 10, and the lead is cut down to six with 36 and a half seconds left to go with that 10, 10 points. Buckmaster has a new season high. He scored six points uh, back on the 4th of December against Central Plains in the Amos Morris Basketball Tournament, and he also scored six points against Phillipsburg on Tuesday night, so a new season high for Reese Buckmaster of 10 points. We're going to take a quick time out here. We'll be back with the fourth, rest of the fourth quarter right after this. If you're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA.
61 to 55. The TMP Monarchs lead the Smith Center Redmond. Joel Montgomery, Colby Benoit, Griffin Kugler, Trenton Colby, and Reese Buckmaster in on the, the court for the Redmen. Schulte, Carlin, Lang, Mayers, and Johnson for the uh, Monarchs as the Redmen get called for their ninth team foul here. And Colby Benoit picks up his third. So, going to be 34.6 seconds left to go. And Lucas Lang heads to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Well, looks like Hobelman and Sass come into the ball game. Montgomery and Kugler both take a seat. So, nine team fouls here on the Redmen. Playing at the free throw line for his one and one. First ends on its way. No good. Rebounded by Hobelman. Hobelman ahead to Benoit. Six point ball game with 30 seconds left. Hobelman ahead to Trenton Colby. Colby ahead to Buckmaster. Buckmaster pump fakes. Drives in. Floater in the paint is good. Buckmaster with 12. And the Redmen take their final time out here of the ball game. As with that, Buckmaster ties his career high of 12 points. He set that on the uh, 5th of December back in 2017 against Rock Hills with 12 points. We'll be back right after this quick timeout with the rest of the fourth quarter. You're listening to MCL Basketball on KQMA and the World Wide Web. Sixty-one to fifty-seven, the TMP Monarchs lead at the Smith Center Redmond. Buckmaster, Kugler, Colby, Montgomery, and Benoit for the Redmond. Johnson, Carlin, Schulte, along with Lang and Mayers for the Monarchs. Johnson will inbound the basketball. Johnson looking, still looking. Now gets it into Lang. Lang pushes it up the court, ahead to Schulte. Schulte drives in, layup, good. Schulte has 12, and the Monarchs lead 63-57. to 57. Kugler all the way up. Layup is good for Griffin Kugler. He's got nine, and it makes it 63-57. to 57. Johnson into uh, Carlin, and he's going to be fouled with 2.9 seconds left. Tenth Redmond team foul. 63-59 to 59 the score of the TMP Monarchs lead to the Smith Center Redmond, as that's the fourth team foul on Colby Benoit. So Ryan Carlin heads to the free throw line. He's got 11 points, trying to extend this Monarch lead as they lead by four, 63 to 59. First one's on its way and good. He's got 12. 64 to 59. TMP leads Smith Center. Now 65 to 59 as Carlin hits them both. He's got 13. Buckmaster rolls it ahead to Benoit. Benoit picks it up. Back to Buckmaster. Three-quarter court at the buzzer off the backboard. No good. And the Swiss Center Redmen fall to the TMP Monarch. 65 to 59. We'll take a timeout here. Come back, wrap up this game for you right after this. You're listening to MCL Basketball Tournament coverage on KQMA and the World Wide Web. <laughs> 